What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing an Adam Morrison gameplay, a card that I spent 50 quid on, but you just never know how he's going to be in a game. Before we get on, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we're so close to 21,000 subscribers, if you can hit that by the end of the day, that'll be insane, and also thank you guys for all the support, and not only this channel, on the DBG channel as well recently, but anyway, now let's get on to it, let's, so, Adam Morrison here, six foot eight. He's got six and he's six and a half thousand VC salary. He's got 95 three ball. Cost 50 freaking quid. But 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, good defense. Good speed two ball acceleration, 92 lateral as well. Can't play shooting guard. Look, all the 16 halves he has. Posterizer, agent threes, blinders, guard up limitless range. Shows a lot of shooting ones, clamps, whistle. And a lot of good gold badges as well. A lot of defensive ones on gold. The problem is with his gold badges, he does not have... Um, he also does come with Silver Icy Gripper. He doesn't come with 94 feet. Which you obviously can't put on him. But I am going to try put Speed Booster on him. I'm going to give him Fast Feet. Uh, I don't know how important Fast Feet is, but... He's an absolute elite player, so I might as well. You know, I don't exactly know how important fast feed is, so I'm just going to give him fast feed on silver. And we have quite a lot of silver fast feed badges, so let's go and just give him that, I guess. And then I do want to give him speed booster because he doesn't have it. And he's a player that will be very important to have that badge. So where is speed booster? There it is. So I have a speed booster Hall of Fame because I bought all the Hall of Fame badges last time they were on set for 200k VC. Or MT, sorry. And I probably will the next time there's a 64 hop badge, so I might buy it, but nah, I'm, I'm good, I think. So, Adam Morrison in this game is going to be absolutely elite. So, the problem is he's got Levine dribble stuff, which is all right, I guess. He just doesn't burst well at all. I love the release, though. Like, the upper isn't the best upper in the world, I will say. Like, they definitely could have given him a better upper than Jerry West, but it's not bad at all. They gave him the tray fade, which is nice. Just for me, you can see there, it looks stupid with this upper. Like, the tray fade does not look good at all with this Jerry West upper. Like, sometimes he just doesn't even follow through. And, like, it's just, for me, I find it really hard to time. I find the tray fade hard to time in general this year, but it's super hard to time with this Jerry West upper. But at the same time, though, release is still going to be pretty good. Like, he does have that uh, pro behind the back, the Nick Young kind of behind the back getting space animation. Which is nice. He's still going to be an elite, um, going to be an elite dunker. I don't like, he does not look anywhere near enough like Adam Morrison. Like, it very clearly looks like him in the face, but where's the mustache? Where's the mustache, 2K? Like, I have to zoom all the way in and I can barely see it. I can barely see that, like, come on, 2K. That is not college, Adam Morrison. Either way, though, like, look, he's still going to be an absolutely spectacular card. Probably one of the best small forwards in the game. Look, unless you're trying to run through bodies with LeBron James, I would say Adam Morrison is probably the best small forward you can get. Do we get a nice... A nice little thumbnail shot right here, I guess, for Adam Morrison. There we go. That'll be our nice thumbnail shot. But uh, yeah, so let's go into a game. So I'm going to just add a load of these players. Because what I'm not into is... Uh, like, I'm not really fussed on a lot of the lower tier cards in the set. Like, Jonathan Bender is okay. I'm just going to put a lot of them in just normal-ass squads. So, I'm going to just run a bunch of guys that I like. So, Dennis Robin, you're coming in at Power Forward. I really like Dennis Robin. Shooting guard. Cam Red, if you know what, you can do a job. Pat Bev, I like you as a card. I'm not the biggest fan of Pat Bev as a card, though, so. Screw it, Pat Bev it is. Actually, I'll give Jor... No, I'll give D-Lo a run. I give D'Lo a run. I can't believe I forgot D'Lo was a thing. D'Angelo Russell, you get in. Yeah, I like this team. If you guys don't know, I'm such a big fan of that New Year's resolution set. 
I've seen the main teller video how much fun I had using them. Like, I was using them again today, and... I was having a lot of fun. Alright, let's take a look and see who we are coming up against right here. I wonder what playbook I have set. I kind of want the Miami playbook because it's a lot better for slashing. So we're playing against a very weak team right here. A very, very weak team. He's got a freaking Sapphire Kobe out there. Like, I know he's got a Wemby, but still. Good steal, I guess. I pressed so lo so long before D'Angelo Russell crossed half court. I threw that pass. All right, we're good. We can guard that. Good defense, lads. Stand. Wemby. He should have just thrown. Why didn't he just throw across Jordan? This guy, is his, it's his first game. I don't even know how to do that dribble move that he did right there. You know, sometimes when you just mash the analog stick, you do something better than you normally would. Okay, I don't even know what play this is, but I'll I'll run it. I'll run it for him and hope for the best. Okay, it's a pin down at least. For wide open three, and that is green. Good shot there, Adam Morrison. It is a super quick release, though. Like, I don't really care what anyone says. If some people like the upper or not. I think Adam Morrison is elite. Terrible miss. Free board. Let's run. Stop. On the break. That is green for Adam Morrison. Come on. Okay. Like, again, a weak opponent. Doesn't... Like, you still have to hit your shots. You still have to hit your shots. So he's got a nice behind the back here. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. There's no way it's that right. Whatever that double behind the back animation I did there. If I can figure a way to trigger that consistently, it's a nice move. Oh, I got... I thought I had him. It's all right. That's... I don't know what happened there. But you know how it's going to end up? In a wide open three for... Oh, I missed. Is he going to quit? No, he just wrapped him up. Alright. I don't need to do anything here. Take a dribble left. Shoot it. There we go. Good shot there for Adam Morrison. I mean, like, my opponent is leaving me open. It's not a difficult, like... Going with Adam Morrison to the basket, or shooting wide open with Adam Morrison is not a difficult thing. Okay, he's posting up Adam Morrison here with Kobe. That shot's never going in, is it? Stop. On the break for four. There we go. Good shot. I love this release. is really good. It is genuinely a really, really good, a really good release, so... That is one thing that I will say is spectacular about this card. And yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, is he worth it? No, he's just not. There is no scenario where getting Adam Morrison, sorry, it's getting a little bit cold here, but there is no scenario where getting Adam Morrison is worth it. There is absolutely no scenario where having Adam Morrison in your team is worth it. Because, like, he's good. He's good. But, um, he's brilliant, in fact. He's probably the best. He's going to be my starting small forward. Like, Franz, unfortunately. He's a better Michael Beasley. It's the best way to put it. He's a better Michael Beasley, so. Clay, you're out of the squad right now. Until I get rid of Suggs, Clay has to go. But he is. Look, he's my starting small forward, so I can't knock him too much. But for a mil MT, is he worth it? No. For $50, is he worth it? Hell no. 